Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make the bass sound and pad sound for the song Outhouse by Nathan Fake. So let's get right into it and start with the bass sound. As you can see here, I have a compressor on the bass sound. This is basically a sidechain compressor. I'm using sidechain on the kick so that every time the kick hits the, um, it will make a dip on the volume of the bass so it gets that whomping, bouncing sound on the bass. So let's open DRC on a default patch, make it default. Okay. And what we're going to start by doing is raise the master to maximum, oscillator 1 to maximum, pregain 2.869. Okay. Now we go to the envelope generator 2 amount that modulates the cutoff. So this is the amount of the envelope generator 2 that controls the cutoff and we're going to drop it to 0.327 3 to 7 I'm going to change the mode from a low pass 4 pole to a low pass 2 pole filter and drop the cutoff to 0.270 Okay, like this Now, on the first envelope generator you're going to raise the decay and sustain to maximum and drop the release to 0.054. Okay. Now, in the second envelope generator, we put the decay at 0.235 and the sustain we drop it to 261 and the release to 203. Okay. And here we have our bass. The performance mode finally from poly to mono and we have it now let's go to the pad sound and open another DRC on a default patch okay here we have it and now what I'm going to start by going to the second oscillator drop one octave and raise the fine tune to 0 0.048. Raise both master, pre-gain, oscillator one and oscillator two to maximum. Okay. Now I'll go to the sub oscillator, raise one octave and raise the sub oscillator to 0 0.604 and the ring oscillator to the same volume. Okay, now we go to the modulation pitch page and here on the LFO1 we're going to raise the modulation to 134. We'll just give it a small, uh, so we're going to put 164 and drop, and drop the rate of the LFO to about 100. So we have this pitch. We have this modulation on the pitch that gives us quite the effect of a tape losing power or not playing exactly on time. So you have the slight variation of the pitch, a very small one. And next, what we're going to do is go to the envelope generator 2, which is on the right volume, but we're going to drop on the filter, the filter 2.214. Okay. And raise the resonance to 0.394. Okay. Like this. Now we go to the VCA, here we control the amplitude modulation and we're going to raise the keyboard to maximum. This means that the higher the note, 
the higher the, vol the velocity of the note, so. Okay. Now let's go to the first envelope generator and raise the attack to point three to six. Okay. Decay at 0 0.5, sustain at 0 0.8 and release at 0 0.3. Now to the second envelope generator. Decay at 230, it's right, sustain. Now we raise it to maximum and release. We put it at 0 0.558. 558. Okay. Now we go to the reverb and we raise the decay to 0.843. We raise the damping a little bit so that the supposed room of the reverb is more reflective. We raise the modulation to 0 0.3 so there is some modulation on the reverb sound. And finally, we raise the amount to 0.216. Okay, and this should be it. So let's now listen to the melody that I've recorded before. So just bear with me for a second while I put this ready for us to hear, to listen. Okay, I think it's ready, so let's, let's not listen. <laughs> This is it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget that we have the Ableton session on the description below for you to download. If you enjoy this, vi this video, don't forget to give us a like or subscribe to our, to our channel. In the meantime, we will see you again next week, guys. So goodbye.